I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this drawing tutorial, we're going to be drawing a lovely pencil and apple perfect for back to school. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. We're going to begin our pencil and apple. So first we're going to start off with a lovely pencil over here. Just a nice short one. So we're going to draw an oval at the top. And add a nice little dot in the center. From there we're going to draw two lines down. And then we're going to follow this dot all the way down to the bottom of where we want our pencil to end. And stick another dot. Next, we're going to draw two diagonal lines, one from each side of the pencil down to that dot. We're going to add just a little line across at the bottom here and color it in for the graphite. Where the straight lines end, we're going to draw either a wavy line or a zigzag line across for that pencil where it's been shaved and then we're going to draw a parallel curved line to this line here. So we're going to draw one, two lines for the eraser and that metal part that holds it. And we're also going to draw another one just below, up, above there and that's so this part here is going to be the eraser. And then this area with these lines are, is going to just be that nice metal part that's holding the eraser onto the pencil. All right, we're gonna give our pencil a face. So we're gonna draw two curved lines, one on either side, so one and two. Draw a second parallel line just inside. And then color in the dark of the eyes with your mark making medium. If you want, you can choose to add eyelashes on either side or leave it as is. Next, we're gonna draw cheeks. So we're gonna draw an oval on each side for the pencil's cheeks. And we're gonna draw a mouth. So between the eyes, we're gonna draw a line that curves up and a line that curves over. Add a tongue with a letter U and a line that starts between the cheeks and then goes down just part way for a cute little pencil mouth. Perfect, so we got our pencil done and now we need to draw a lovely apple perfect for uh, back to school. So first we're gonna draw a wavy line. Above it we're gonna draw an oval with a dot in the middle. Two curving lines down and that's gonna make a lovely stem for our apple. Next, we'll draw an apple shape around it. So a nice line that curves up and around. Dips at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw a second one on the other side. Just like that. So we can have a mirrored image on both sides. Of course, apples are shiny, so we're gonna draw some curving rectangles here and there on the apple to create some nice shiny spots. And these will remain white so that our apple appears nice and shiny. All right, we're gonna draw a little face on our apple. So we're gonna draw two eyebrows first um, with diagonal lines on either side. Below those, we're gonna draw nice big circles. A little happy face between or smiley face 
with a curved line between the eyes. And if you want, you can add some cheeks, one below each eye with a little oval. Now back in the eyes, we're gonna draw one big circle in each eye. And of course, two smaller circles in each eye. Once you're done, color in the dark of the eyes with a black or your choice of eye color. Once you're done, you are ready to grab something to thicken up all your lines on the outside of your drawing. So I'm just going to grab a nice black marker. I'm going to go around the outline and just trace over all my lines to thicken them up, make them nice and clean, bold and beautiful. I'm also going to use the same marker just to add some expressive lines around things such as my eyes, corners of my mouth, wherever you would like some expressive lines you can add just a few around the edge, nice and thin and now if you barely touch the paper those lines will be even thinner so just barely touching the paper makes nice thin lines and adds a little bit of extra detail and once you're done you are ready to color so grab your favorite mark making mediums and colors and let's go ahead and color in our lovely designs I'm gonna grab a yellow first and then I'm gonna start off by coloring my pencil with my yellow Find a nice beige or a tan, whatever you have, and we can color in the bottom of the pencil with that color. Of course, we're going to use a lovely gray for the metal band on the pencil that holds the eraser to the wood, and then we'll get a beautiful eraser color. I'm gonna use a pink for my eraser and I'm gonna color it in, leaving just that nice little top edge white for some highlights. I'm going to use the same pink to color in my tongue and my cheeks on both my pencil and my apple. Next, I'm going to grab some apple colors. I'm gonna start off with the stem on my apple so I'm gonna color it in brown again I'm gonna leave some white along the top for some highlights and my apple is going to be red now if you don't want to do a red apple that's okay you pick whatever apple color you would like to color with I'm going to have a red apple so I'm going to use red to color in my apple again we're leaving these little spots here where the glare of light is we're gonna leave those nice and white 
so that our apple appears to be shiny. And with your apple, you can also leave some of the top edges of your apple white if you would like to add further highlights onto your apple design. And to give it a final lovely detail, we're going to use a blue and we're just going to go along the inside edge of the white on the eyes on the apple just the big ones. If it's too small, we're just gonna leave that as is, but any of the bigger circles, we're just gonna add a little bit of blue before we shade here. And that's just gonna add a little bit more color and add an extra element of cuteness to our drawing. All right, grab a gray mark making medium. You can use whatever mark making medium you have. So I'm just using a gray felt marker, but if you don't have a gray felt marker, you could use a light blue felt marker or a blue wax crayon to shade with. You can use a gray wax crayon or a black wax crayon or a black pencil crayon and just color lightly and that will make gray as well. So you use whatever you have. And we're just gonna go around the eyes first on both our pencil and our apple, just shading around those areas. Again, if you don't have gray, you can use a blue, that's totally perfect, or even just use a different medium, right? And use that to shade with. So around the eyes, under the mouths, I'm going to shade this area around the stem of my apple, right there, so it looks like it's dark going down. I'm gonna shade the bottom edge of my eraser. I'm gonna shade down one side of my pencil, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same side on my apple, down the side, along the bottom. And you can pick one side of your stem to do. And just like that, your lovely design, perfect for back to school, is done. Well, that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I wanna know what you would like to see me draw next. So make sure that you head on over to the comments section of this video. I wanna know what you want to see me draw and I'm gonna try to include it in an upcoming episode.